problem. It's been raining like we're in Seattle or something last week or so, and I needed, I really needed a waterproof tonneau cover, pickup bed cover for my old green pickup. So I started looking online. Cheapest one I could find was $239 on the Amazon. Cool. Man, really? So I went on Facebook and Craigslist. Found a couple pickup toppers, shell campers for 200 used, and they were rough. I said, man, I just need to keep some materials dry for a few miles or a few days. This is what I come up with. And it's worked. And I spent less than 30 bucks on this. Stay tuned, I'll show you how I built this quick and easy DIY pickup bed cover for less than 30 bucks. I probably could have pulled this up a little bit. Now what I did, I lost the footage, new phone. What I did was cut the 2x3. You see this comes out a little bit, about a half inch or so from the actual bed. So I put the end of the 2x3 even with this, not, not the bed just stops back back in here and I'll run this on out work great same way back here oh there it is um, I'm not sure what happened there I think I may have did that when I was loading some some materials uh, and the two by three stops right here not right over here so and when you drill these through you want to make sure on mine I have a double wall bed and when I reach up under the reach up under here there's only one small area that is single wall now if my bolts were longer it wouldn't matter but my bolts are just barely enough to go through the two by three through the rail and into the bottom so uh, I brought the ends out right here now originally and I still may do this I was going to cut these at four foot here's my four foot mark and I was going to put a cross uh, one by four cross member here on each side and put a um, one by four cross and then hinges so the back two foot could hinge but right now I am just putting these in this is going to be a quick and dirty install um, and this should be about right for that okay let's see this is going to be rough so I'm going to one hand this so I'm going to put the camera down I'm going to drill this hole here maybe not maybe I can get one hand now I'm also putting my my um, two by three even with the inside of the bed Some of you may not want to drill your bed, and that's fine. There is a um, video on YouTube where he takes a two before and lays it edge up and notches out for some four inch clamps. Um, I'm just not that trustworthy of clamps. Uh, this is, now locks are much more secure. So get my bolt and see if I can get it in there. Now we'll be right back. Okay. Got my bolts in. Got, now on the bottom, I'd like to use a washer. I just don't have the space. So that nylock against that single wall metal is good enough. Um, these aren't tight because what I'm going to do next, and I still got this two by three. I, I was thinking about maybe bringing it across the back or the front for extra securement, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, I may put it across the back to just to have something to uh, screw the tarp to. We'll see. This is uh, planning this out as I go along here. Okay, this is the tarp I'm using. Uh, it was like six dollars, six fifty or something from Harbor Freight. It's a seven by nine camouflage. Kind of, it's kind of going to match my color of my pickup. So. Anyway, let me get this stretched. It's starting to sprinkle again. So let me get this stretched and um, 
we'll get out here and get your tarp there. Six, seven bucks. You can get them a little thicker for more. I thought they had a black eight by six, but I couldn't find one, so I went with the seven by nine. Now the screws that I'm using to secure this tarp are going to be these um, lath screws with the big heads on there. These are three quarter inch. That's what I had. Actually, I just bought these. I'm going to need them on other projects. So as you can see, this three quarter inch long should be plenty to secure this tarp. So let me get out in the sprinkling mist and rain and see what I can do here. Okay, here is the semi-final product. You can see not bad. What I did was doubled, doubled the tarp up. I picked a seam, like a natural seam where it was folded. And I just put two screws in the corner. Then I pulled, made sure the seam was even crossed here. And then um, I figured out something to do with this. And I came over this side and started pulling it tight. As you can see, that's a waterproof tonneau cover. And um, I, um, I had the other side. I put screws about every foot. I'd pull, pull it tight, put a screw in. And then sometimes I came back on some of these double this over so it would be four layers and put tighten it up again and put more screws in um, probably will end up putting a board across the front but for right now this is going to work for what I need it to I can always double this up I don't want to secure it to that because I've got to open the tailgate so um, I could uh, probably do that Fold these in. I may do that. Probably get my drill. Fold this up under there like that. Yeah, I think it's good. I think I'm gonna do that. And then you have your waterproof tonneau cover for less than 50 bucks. Okay. Yeah, probably will put that other two before eventually crossed here and then secure it. But for right now, this is gonna work for what I need it to. What I did back here was wrap the corners. I took these out, wrapped the corners. It's like quadrupled under there now. So, um, wouldn't be bad to have a one by four across the back right here to secure this too. I may do that as well, or I may just get another two by three. That's another freaking 11 bucks. I'd get two more. Well, I've got one, so it'd be five fifty something. Like I said, I keep going around, pulling these down, pulling that tight. Like I say, the only place that's really, really flappy is up here. And probably once I get over the road, it's going to be all right. So, yeah, less than 50 bucks, waterproof tonneau cover. Not bad at all. Yes, it could be done a little bit better, but, you know, what 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 is your goal here? Waterproof? We got it. And we don't want to spend the arm and leg to do it because this may just be temporary. But there you go. Okay, here's the um, final thing. This is my, this actually was a nice accident that worked out. This um, uh, put my ice chest on top of the tar there because I needed this space back there. I forgot to take the ice chest out. But it actually worked good because it helps drain the water. Now the only place the water stands when it's raining and you're not moving is right here. When you're driving, it doesn't. It stays dry. And um, I've got about almost 250 miles on this in the rain. And it kept everything dry. So I'm really super happy about that. Um, I did this right here when I pushed the um, ice chest up on, under the um, tarp there on top of the tar. I thought there was another place here, someplace I tore. As far as I know, none of this is tore just by use, other than, you know, shoving stuff against it. 
But as you can see, all these have held really well. Yeah, I couldn't be happier with this. For less than 30 bucks, it's kept everything dry and, and you know, done 75 mile an hour down the interstate and around town has kept everything dry. And we got more rain, can you tell? We got more rain on the way, so. Um, this just hasn't been an issue. I was afraid that, you know, I brought these out, doubled them up, quadrupled, folded them under the corners. I was afraid the rain might get up under here. It just hadn't happened. It, the water s stands here when you let it, like, you're parked overnight. But when I took off, it all goes right off. So, that's it. If you need a quick and easy tonneau cover or pickup bed cover that's waterproof, for less than 30 bucks, here you go.